hitting high notes, you know, like just why without having to be super loud, being able to do it relaxed. Um, it was quite a journey uh, that I had to go on to get it to feel easy. I struggled a lot with vocal range. Um, my voice is naturally low and I didn't have like any talent for singing. So every song was just like too high for me. And it took me many years to figure out how to like get my vocal range higher so that I could even sing along to like anything. <laughs> but what I found is like, uh, what I found was a bigger challenge than just getting the range itself was actually turning it into something that was like usable in full songs because once I could hit higher notes, it was like I had to scream full volume to hit them. Um, and it just wasn't like usable. It, you know, the moment I tried to like relax off the voice and use less effort, the voice would just like fall apart. So the typical advice of just like, oh, just just relax the voice and just just relax, you know, doesn't, it's not very helpful because either you just try to relax and it works or it doesn't work, in which case it's like, what do you do then, right? So I had to come up with a unique kind of path for myself to figure out how to build it up. So what you're gonna see now is, um, I'm gonna show you like an example of a singer um, going through this process of like, we're starting to back off the volume and, and I'm, I'm kind of helping him navigate that, that journey there. Getting into like a softer position, I feel like I'm still having to um, like sing it pretty dopey to like create enough space in my throat to get into the softer position. I'll show you the dopey way first. So if I'm like, uh, so that's that's me like being dopey and not trying to open it. It, it yeah. just wants to do this. Uh, uh, it wants to do that. Uh, uh, so that that's like quieter than my speaking voice there. So what I'm showing him here is that there's a process to softening the voice. So if we start loud, hum, and it's like pretty loud, right? Now, if I try to just soften that the way most people try to soften it, they just try to back off the volume and then the voice collapses like this. Hum, and it loses this, that kind of stable sound and the voice starts flipping in and out of falsetto and chest. Now, what most people try to do is they just try to smooth that falsetto and chest sound ah, and it gets smoother like that. However, it's still, it is an unstable position. So if I try to sing high with that, ah, it just is, it's just this mess. It's like an unstable sound. So there's a process that uh, we go through where we soften the voice with a solid sound. So instead of hum, I soften that with the compression. Hum. So now the volume's less, but the voice is still really compressed and solid. Hum. Can you hear that? Now from there, that sounds really ugly and you know it's it's rigid. So from there we soften it again. Hum. So I've got all this stability. Now it's not overly squeezing but now it sounds too dopey, right? So then there's another step where we start to brighten it like this. So that, uh, uh, that's like quieter than my speaking voice there. Yeah. So I've highlighted all of these steps to get this softer sound that's very clear and remain, maintains the stability of the louder sound. That way you can take it really high in a high range. You're gonna see him navigating this and, and going through the process of it. And it's, you have to mm. really fight to keep it like, ah, ah, ah. Yeah. Mm. Ah, yeah. Ah. Now, it, can you hear his voice kind of flipping in and out? Ah. To, to the untrained ear, most people will think he's flipping in between chest voice and falsetto. He's actually not. He's flipping between two different kinds of chest voices. Sounds strange, but when you go through this journey of backing off the volume and singing softly the right way, you start to access another kind of chest voice. It's like thinner and softer, but it still maintains all of the stability of your loud one. And you can take it out really high and it's completely usable in songs. 
<laughs> yeah. How'd you Thanks. feel? <laughs> That's so hard. It's fucking hard, right? <laughs> yeah. Like I was like about to throw out my neck. <laughs> <laughs> Like I'm breaking, just hold it together yeah. Make sure you remember me, I'm light as a feather yeah. Baby, forgive me, cause I fucking hate you yeah. If you were a picture, then I would erase you yeah. Then I would erase you Then, then, I, then I would yes. erase you Because you do this thing, and you do it because a lot of the artists you like do it, but you have to be careful of it. You do a little squeeze before the note to add the, an inflection to the note stylistically, mm. but that throw that can throw off the balance of the soft position. Mm. That little like, cause uh, uh, that, that little thing that you put in at the beginning. So you want to see, that's okay if you do that to record or whatever, but just make sure you don't have to do that. So show me the first line again. Feel like I'm breaking, just hold mm. it together. Yeah. yeah, so do this. Go like in the soft mode. Feel like I'm breaking. Like that. Feel like I'm breaking. Yeah, try to brighten it. Feel like, feel feel like, like I'm breaking. breaking. Feel like I'm breaking, just yeah, it open it. yeah. Feel like I'm breaking. Feel like I'm breaking. Yeah, try to get that balance you're looking for. Because he's being more vulnerable with the voice, he's starting to find this other thinner, lighter chest voice. Can you hear it? It's like flipping him into a different chest voice. It's not falsetto. Feel like I'm breaking. Feel like I'm breaking. Yeah, open it. I'm breaking. Feel like I'm breaking. You can you hear it like flipping him in and out of like different pitches. This coordination is what when he over squeezes, when he tries to sing normally, he does these kind of certain things that that have him avoid this spot. And we need to not avoid this spot, but we need to go into this spot and, and actually like hone it and refine it and train it. And that's what will make the voice really, really easy to sing with. Breaking, just hold it together. Can you see it's how it's exposing to something? You see how this is exposing something? It's wanting to slip, yeah. Yeah, so this is exposing something that when you sing normally, it's like you're kind of hiding away from. We have to mm. go straight into this spot and get this spot functioning. And he won't have to avoid it, so to speak. And I'm basically trying to get him to brighten the sound because usually this sound will, will sound really dopey and airy, like, feel like I'm breaking. It'll sound like that at first. Hey, hey, it sounds really airy and muffled. And as we refine it and brighten the vowels, hey, we can clear it up and get the sound clear and solid without it being like really loud. Try to get the volume you're looking for, for the song, but opening the vowels up. Feel like I'm breaking. Mm. Feel like I'm breaking. Just hold it together. Like that? Yeah, and open up. Breaking. Like the, the, the mouth and everything to expose it more. Feel like I'm breaking. Just hold it together. Mm, there we go. Memory, I'm light as a feather. You see you're not doing anything now? Yeah. Like you're just singing now. Like you're not, you're not like affecting anything or hiding from anything or compensating yeah. for anything now. You're just going psh, straight through. Yep. Even yep. Everything is just a game. Like, yeah, like really open it up. So what I'm trying to have him do here is now that he's found this thinner, softer chest voice, I'm trying to have him exaggerate like the face, the facial and the vowels and everything to help brighten it up and make it clearer. So it's not so airy and, and uh, muffled sounding. And that's what will help him strengthen it further without over squeezing it. Because there'll be a tendency when you try to brighten this to squeeze harder on it. And then that will just kick you out of the spot and take you back to like a heavier, louder voice. So it's like this fine line you got to find with this coordination. 
just a game. Like, yeah, yeah, like really open it up in that funny spot we found. And everything is just a game. Cause all you ever seem to do is play me and break yeah. me down. You see how easy that top note came out that time? Yeah, that was sick. <laughs> it's all the shit that comes before it that, that changes how that's going to behave for you. Mm, okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> it's, weird. It's, it's weird, right? Because like, so it's because you sing all the stuff at the beginning and then it's like, and then that high note comes and then it's like, oh, what the fuck? It's like all weird now. What, what's going on here? It's because it, it, the way you sang everything before it will, it will start to change the balance of the muscles and then the voice will kind of get locked into one mode and it has to commit to that, that way when it goes up to the, to the higher range. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to be really sensitive to it's 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 like tricky because you have to know where you're trying to get to and then get that coordination to kick in earlier in the range and sing that way that way it's like warming it up and everything so that when you go up there yeah like, I still feel like I'm going <gasps> into it a little bit you know Yeah that's where you have to over break me so, uh, uh, uh. otherwise it's like um uh, uh you can walk that get out to the door. It's yeah. like it sounds all muffled, right? Break me yeah. down. It's like that. Yeah. Break me down. And it sounds really clear, but it, but the volume doesn't have to be super loud. Yeah. Break me down. See, that was still like a four. Just really focus on like softening, brightening, but brightening, but not like going into it. Yeah, you can use that hood to find it. But once you found it, you have to move beyond that. Otherwise, you always have to do it that way, you know? So, mm, so if you have to yeah. find it like, oh, oh, to find it, that's cool. But then once that's like working and it's like, okay, I can get in there, but like it sounds rubbish. So what do I do now? That's when you, oh, oh, that's where you try to really, ah, like, oh, oh, Yeah. yeah it's that's it, where the work is so the work is that the work is like that realm of like it'll flip yeah. in and out and you're just trying to get the vowel to be really clear and you're also trying to keep a bit of stability in there so like as you get better with it it'll feel like it can uh lock in with your chest a bit more and and yeah feel stable but it's still like really easy to hit the note that's the ideal spot mm. and it will sound really clear so you can that uh, it, it, I'm in the slip thing, but I fused it with the chest now, so it feels just like ah, it feels just the same as that. And you were getting yeah. moments where that was happening, where yeah. it was soft and clear, but it felt really stable, fused with your chest, right? Yeah, there were moments like that for sure. That's what you're yeah. looking for now, is that thing? Yeah. Twenty miles an hour down a one way open Sunday. I could take your love at slow pace, figure out emotions with a still face. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah.